Blindsided. Written by BHA Scenarios Imagines. On Tumblr. His hand gently brushed against your arm before he took your hand in his own, squeezing it in an attempt to comfort you. The bandages were still wrapped over your eyes, its white now a shade of red. He couldn't bring himself to say anything to you. He didn't know how to comfort you in a time like this. I can't see you, you finally quivered, something you had confessed when your eyesight was taken from you. In that situation, you were far more hysterical. Your hands had been frantic, trying to feel for him, to touch him. May I have your other hand? He said as he reached over you. You nodded in response, not moving as he pulled both of your hands to his face, allowing your fingers to brush against his scarred skin. A simple gesture that made you choke. You froze for a moment before trailing your hands over his face. Thank you, you squeaked, your voice shaking while your hands rested upon both of his cheeks. You could feel the corners of his mouth twitch upward in a small smile. He gently took one of your hands and pressed a chaste kiss to the palm of it. Anything for you. He felt guilty while he felt your hands clutch onto his arm as he walked with you to class. Your eyes had gotten better, scars littered your eyelids, but you couldn't see. It was something that he guessed would have happened the moment he saw you crying blood. You seemed calm though, acting as though you were unaffected by this sudden change in your life. Kirishima! Looking good today! Mina chimed happily before her smile fell ever so slightly towards you. She pat your shoulder, smiling as if you could see her. And looking beautiful today as always. I'll see you both in class! She chirped before walking off, still smiling. My uniform was dirty, so I couldn't wear the jacket, Karishima explained. I just hope I don't get in trouble. He laughed it off when he saw the way you tilted your head curiously. You smiled before quickly turning your head away. I'm sorry, you said. Karishima shook his head, touching your hands with his free hand. <laughs> don't be. It's not like I look much different, he said, but that only seemed to dampen your mood further. He stopped walking and removed your hands from his arm, placing them on his chest. You could feel the fabric of his tie and his white cotton shirt. His hands rested on top of yours, pushing them in for you to feel his heartbeat. You can't see me, but you can feel me, right? I saw it in a movie once. Your lips twitched upwards while your hands climbed towards his face. You felt around before your fingers gingerly touched the scar above his right eye. Thank you for letting me see you, you whispered as you pulled your hands away. He grinned wider and swooped down to press a chaste kiss to your cheek. You could feel his smile against your skin as he wrapped his arms around you. <laughs> now every kiss will be a surprise kiss, he exclaimed happily as he picked you up and spun the two of you around in the middle of the school hallway. May I feel your face? The question caused his eyes to widen in surprise. His hands fidgeted as he suddenly grew self-conscious. At the same time, his silence and lack of response caused a feeling of guilt to wash over you while you wrung your hands together. Before you were able to apologize, he reached over and took your hands in his larger ones. Forgive me. Your question surprised me. He spoke. Of course. Just be careful. 
I would feel terrible if you scratched your hand on my mouth. He guided your hands to either side of his face. You could feel his feathers and slowly dragged your hands up towards the crown of his head. You felt the way the feathers twitched when you dragged your fingers through them. Can you close your eyes for me? You asked quietly. He said nothing, but you could feel his head nod in response to your request. You took his cheeks in your hands and pulled him forward, placing a small kiss on his beak before pulling away, smiling. He took one of your hands in his own, and you found that you quite enjoyed the contrast between his skin and his feathers. Thank you. Feel free to do it any time you would like to, he said, hearing the slight embarrassment in his voice. You noted that you should kiss him more often. <laughs>